Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I have something pretty cool to show you. This is the new for 2022 Jimmy Animated Clown, sold exclusively at Rite Aid. First time this uh, retail has ever been featured on this channel. This was an item that I initially thought was sold at Walgreens, but um, upon further investigation, I saw that he was sold at Rite Aid, and I wanted him. I thought he was pretty interesting, and I thought he was actually kind of cute looking, and I, I mean, I bought him. He was half off at the time when I purchased him, so I believe he was $20. Yeah, he was $20 because he... It's full price is 40 <clears throat> which I guess Rite Aid always has a 50% off sale, so I got him at that sale. He basically is like those little teddy bears where they look cute, then you squeeze the back of their head and they turn all scary and ominous. That's kind of what he is in concept, as when he lunges forward, I can get to do it with one hand, he's got their teeth. And then when he sits back, he looks a little more innocent. Though he's still kind of unsettling. He's got kind of a Muppet face, which is what made him appealing to me. And he's got, like, all those gnarly little teeth. He looks like that tricycle clown that they sold, or it's like a plush clown on a tricycle. Uh, I can't remember where they sold it. I'm sure someone here knows exactly what I'm talking about. We're... He had this exact design. It's just they altered the face a little bit, but like he had the same makeup and he was plush, but he looked friendly and cute. <clears throat> but they took that basically and made it into kind of a spookier black and orange clown. So I like creepy toy props, and I thought that this was the cool, like, kind of spooky plush toy. And I also adore clowns so much. And Jimmy clowns usually aren't ones that appeal to me. But this guy is just so weird that I liked it. You know, I mean, let's look at that weird little face. Right? <clears throat> and just the concept of him was really odd. But at the same time, I liked it enough to pick it up. And I'll, again, again I, I did not pay full price. The, um, I guess the product, like the official name is Clown Laugh 22. At least that's what they have on this tag, which is kind of funny. But then they also have it as Animated Creepy Clown. I don't think he's creepy, though. I think he's cute. Um, so he lunges forward, and then he has like a really long laugh track. Which, the only real issue I have is the fact that he lunges so hard that he will topple over. Which is why I actually had him on my um, Fortune Teller Skeleton's booth. Because it was pinning him in a way where he couldn't tumble over. And there were a couple times in that demo where I thought he was about to fall right off. That was a one take video. <clears throat> and I, th I thought he was about to fall. So, let's go ahead and show you him in action. He will probably fall, and I will let him so you can see it. <laughs> oh, and his nose glows, too. He got real close. He actually didn't fall this time. That was really surprising. I'll give you a side view just so you can see how hard he goes. So he does have fake moss stuck on him. I've been working on a bunch of props here uh, lately. And he has got a really weird shaped body. But he's a side view so you can see just how hard he moves. I want you guys to see this. <laughs> this guy uh that was partially my fault there he goes and it is <laughs> see now he just lays there 
it's that part that he always falls on. Yeah, he, you see him how fat, like how much he rocks back and forth. They made it, they made the mech a little too strong for him, and it causes him to fall over. And it doesn't have enough weight to keep him up, which is kind of a bummer. But I still think he's cute. And for Jimmy, I mean, not terrible tabletop, honestly. I like his hair. I like the color scheme. I like the blue buttons that actually don't look too terrible as a contrast. I think overall it's a pretty cool prop. It's weird and wacky. But it's weird and wacky and kind of a tasteful level where it's not just outwardly stupid. If that makes sense. Like, obviously, this is not scary. And this is not like a serious tabletop. I can't take this thing serious in any way, shape, or form. But I think it's cute, and I think it's wacky, and I think it's goofy, and I like it for those reasons. I don't like it because it's Jimmy, like some people automatically will. I just think it's cute. I like clowns, too, and it was a clown that I thought was cute. I think it's interesting. It's a little different. And again, he's like wacky and goofy in a way that I like. And I'm kind of glad they didn't give him like serious, scary audio because... I mean, I'm sure it would have been good, but, like, I don't think it would have had that kind of silly charm, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know if anyone else is kind of feeling the vibe I'm feeling, where it's like, I'm glad they went with kind of a sillier charm with him. It's definitely modern Jimmy, like, where it's not taking itself serious, and it's more fun that's the word. It's a fun. It's a fun item, and I like that. I like. I like a more fun uh, tabletop, you know. And all the mix of my serious and scarier uh, tabletops. Though all the tabletops I bought from Rite Aid are kind of goofy, so I like having some humor in my display. It's just how I am. But yeah, that's really all uh, there is to them. If you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. I'm not going to judge you either way. Um, I don't know if I really recommend him, but I mean, he's on Rite Aid's website. There's like hardly any physical stores. I ordered him online. I got like two other items. One of them is just not being reviewed because it's not interesting enough, which is like a light up pumpkin that I thought was Jimmy ended up being Pan Asian. I was a little surprised. But, yeah, I mean, if you like this video, like, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.